everyone. Today we're going to learn about some of the common plant pests and diseases and how we can treat them. To ensure we provide an effective treatment, we need to identify the pest or disease. For this, we can observe signs such as the actual insect, disease organism or their remains, or symptoms which are the plant's responses to the pests or diseases. We recommend an integrated pest management approach to retain beneficial biodiversity and to treat infections only when necessary. To reduce the risk of pests and disease, we can keep plants healthy by avoiding over-fertilizing, avoiding over-watering or underwatering, and providing sufficient sunlight. Pests cause damage to plants by feeding on their parts. Slugs and snails typically target seedlings for their softer leaves. Symptoms observed are holes on the leaves and a silvery trail of slime. Snails and slugs can be baited with a beer trap or some cucumber slices. Check on the bait after 1-2 to two days and remove them. Insects can be beneficial or harmful to plants. Pest insects feed on plants by either chewing or sucking the sap. Chewing insects cause symptoms such as holes and leaf defoliation. Sap sucking insects usually feed on young shoots or leaves. Some spread plant diseases or sooty mold. You can remove sap sucking insects by pruning, wiping them away, or using an insecticide to spray. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for use and precautions. Squirrels, rats, and mice may feed on seeds, seedlings, and young shoots. They may also strip the bark in order to access the softer and tastier inner tree bark known as the cambium layer. If you notice your seeds and seedlings disappearing, protect them with a cage or mesh enclosure. Plant diseases can be caused by fungi, bacteria, or viruses. Fungal diseases include sooty mold, rust, and mildews. Sooty mold indicates that a plant has been affected by a sap-sucking pest. Their growth is unsightly and can reduce plant vigor by preventing photosynthesis. Remove both the sap-sucking pest and the sooty mold with lukewarm soapy water. Rust is spread by fungal spores. Affected leaves show pale leaf spots which can get bigger and turn into bumpy looking pastilles. They eventually break open and release spores to infect other plants. Rust prefer damp conditions so ensure not to overwater and provide sufficient air circulation. Bacterial diseases may be difficult to spot. One such disease is bacterial canker, which is characterized by lesions on leaves, twigs, or fruits. Isolate the infected plant once the plant shows symptoms of fungal or bacterial disease. Prune away and dispose infected plant parts. Do not compose them. Ensure that the tools used are sterilized. Viral diseases cause symptoms such as mosaic leaf patterns, crinkled leaves, yellow leaves, and plant stunting. Most viruses are incurable and contagious. Remove the infected plant from your nursery to prevent further spread. We hope you have learned more about some of the common plant pests and diseases and how to treat them. However, it's always better to keep your plants healthy to boost their immune systems against pests and diseases. Thank you for watching!